Hey guys, welcome back to Pilates with me and today is your day four of your 10 day Pilates challenge. Today we're going to be focusing a lot on inner thigh. It tends to be muscles that we kind of forget about because we're too focused on getting that bum or getting those abs or working those arms. But in actual fact, inner thigh is a really, really important muscle needed for hip stability. So no equipment is needed for this class. It's just going to be you, yourself, and the mat. So when you're ready, get into position and let's begin. Starting on your hands and your knees, you guys are just going to take that left leg out to the side, placing the foot down flat, nice and comfortably, and try and keep your hips kind of level. You're going to then take that left arm and we're going to inhale, thread it underneath the right armpit, and exhale, open it up to the ceiling, getting a nice rotation in that thoracic spine. You're going to inhale, thread, exhale, open. Inhale, thread, exhale, open. Let's just do it two more times. And last time, you're going to hold it open and pulse that arm back for six, five, four, three, two, hold and then gently bring it all the way back down to the mat now that left foot you're going to lift the toes off the floor slide it a little bit further away from you and then just lean back and forward to stretch that inner thigh you can breathe in you can breathe out and then if you want to you're going to hold it down in that position onto the forearms, just open up that inner thigh, getting it ready for what's to come. And then lift yourself back up onto the hands and the knees. That left leg comes in and that right leg goes out. You're going to now lift that right arm up. We reach it up to the ceiling and then you thread it all the way underneath that left armpit. So you're going to inhale, reach, exhale, thread. Three, four, and five. Hold it up, pulse it back, four, six, five, four, three, two, hold. And then gently release it back to the mat. You're going to now turn the right toes up, slide that leg a little bit further away if you want more of a stretch, and then just lean back and forward. Engage your core, lock your shoulders, deep breaths. And then you're just going to hold it down there, come down onto the forearms, stretch that inner thigh. Try to lock your knee, keep the toes lifted. And then gently release it, lift it up. You're going to slide that leg back in and we're going to rotate feet forward onto the bum. Scoot yourself forward so you've got a bit of room. And then we're going to roll down onto our forearms. So we're going to stick the chest out, keep a nice neutral spine. And I want you guys just to move your feet slightly forward and lift the heels off the floor. Now from here, you're going to maintain neutral as you exhale, open both of your knees and inhale, squeeze them in. When you touch them, I want you to try and squish them together. Put a bit of extra pressure into them. Inhale, exhale. Open up the chest, engage that core. We've got another five, four, three, two, one. You are now going to open the knees and keep the knees open, toes together. Inhale, exhale, you're going to lift both legs up. And then inhale, you're going to tap the feet down. Exhale. Now make this a little bit harder. So really push the inner sides of those feet together until you start to feel the core and those inner thighs activate. <sighs> Keep that head held high. We're going to go for another four, three, two, one. 
Keep the legs up. Now you're going to inhale, close the knees, exhale, open. One, close, open, two. Keep neutral. Neck is reaching out of the shoulders. Four, pushing into the sides of the feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to hold the knees open and pulse the knees towards the chest for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, and then close and release. Relax it. You're going to prop yourself up. We're going to spin around and come down onto one elbow. So just get that elbow directly underneath the shoulder. We're going to start with it lifted up in the side. You're going to take your top leg, bend it, and open it. The bottom leg extends, and it's slightly forward of the hips. Your hips are going to be skewed. That is fine. We're focusing on this muscle, okay? You're going to reach the top arm up. We inhale, exhale. It's a slight little rotation to reach for that ankle, and then inhale, lower. So you're going to exhale, tap, two, inhale, open. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you're going to lift it up. You're going to hold it up and pulse the ankle to the hand for ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep the foot flex, knee straight. Four, three, two, hold. And then gently release it back down. Now you're going to just come down onto the arm, but you're going to keep your legs exactly the way that they were. That bottom leg is slightly forward. Top arm is going to reach up and it's going to stay up. Now you're going to inhale, exhale, lift that bottom leg and lower. You brace in the core, and you don't actually want to roll as much as you did here as you did in that first exercise. Four. Five, six, you're using your core here for balance. Seven, feel that inner thigh starting to get a little bit warmer. And ten, you're going to hold. We're going to now circle that bottom leg. But when you circle, I want you to lift it quite high up. You're putting pressure on that top foot and you're keeping yourself steady. <sighs> One more. And then change the direction of the circle for five, four, three, two, one. You're going to keep that leg lifted and give it ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. And then gently release it back down. Perfect. You're going to now extend that top leg down. And I would suggest putting the top hand on the mat for support. But you're more than welcome to keep it up. You're going to engage the core and we lift the top leg slightly. And then we lift the bottom leg to meet it. And then we lower both legs. So it goes top, bottom, both down. We go up for three, both down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was nine, and this is ten. Now lift both of your legs up and hold, and you're going to scissor kick those legs just for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the feet together and then pulse the legs up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and let it go. Release. So not only are we focusing on inner thigh today, you will also feel its abs. Abs and core are involved in everything to keep you stable. It's amazing. Love it. 
you're going to push yourself up and we're going to swap everything over repeat that on the other side so remember you're going to start off propped up on the elbow top leg is going to be bent and open bottom leg is going to be straight and slightly forward with a flexed foot we make sure we're not dipping in the side so keep it up lift that arm lock the shoulders and we exhale tap one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. Hold it up. Pulse the ankle to the hand for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and return it to the mat. You're going to slide down onto that bottom arm. Keep the legs as they are and reach that top arm up. Now you're going to lock the shoulder, flex that bottom leg and lift and lower. We come up for two. Three, four, five. One side's always going to feel more awkward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to lift it up. You're going to hold it up and circle for five. Remember, you want to go high as you circle it in three two one now change the direction of that circle five four three two one keep that leg lifted and now pulse it up for ten nine eight seven six five four three, two, hold, and gently release it and relax it. you got to really engage the core there so as to not fall over. You're going to extend those legs. Top hand comes onto the floor for support if you need it. And you're going to lift the top leg and then bottom leg. Lower both down. So you're going to lift, lift, lower. Now breathe however feels good to you here. But make sure that you keep breathing. Four, five, six. That was seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now lift both of the legs up, hold, scissor those legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the feet together, pulse both legs up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. And release it, relax it. Well done, team. You're going to roll over onto your back. Okay, so this is a little bit of abs as well as inner thighs and a lot of brain. So lying on your back, you're going to get into an imprint. Arms are a little bit wider than usual. And extend right leg and then left leg to ceiling. Now, if you can't do this with locked knees, then lower down until your knees are locked. Okay, but I want a nice, strong back and tummy. Now you're going to point, open the legs wide. You're going to flex and close the legs. So it's a point, open, flex, close. The wider you go, the harder it's going to be. But you got to go as wide as you can go without losing that imprint. Let's go for another four, three, two, 
One. Now you're going to take it, point it in the center. We're going to open slightly and now crisscross. It is a tense, powerful movement. It's not quick. It's not short. I want you to feel those inner thighs. Let's go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Feet come together, hold, and then bend them and give it a breather. You're going to lift those legs to tabletop, imprinted spine. You're going to keep the toes together, but just open your knees slightly. And again, you're pushing into the insides of that foot. You're taking the hands behind the head. We breathe in. Exhale, you crunch and close your knees. One. Inhale, you lower and open. Exhale, you crunch and close. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Hold it together and you're going to pulse that chest upwards for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and gently release it. Relax it back to the mat. Well done, guys. You're going to keep the feet hip width distance apart. And we are going to be working bum and inner thigh, but it's mainly inner thigh that you're focusing on. Neutral spine, I want you to lift your hips straight up. Now hold it here. Yeah. You're going to take your knees from a parallel position, and you're going to touch the knees together, keeping the feet where they are. You open the knees, and then you close the knees. Okay, so it's that squeeze in this position that's going to activate those inner thighs. We inhale parallel, we exhale, touch knees together. Inhale parallel, exhale, touch. Relax those shoulders. It can feel a little bit awkward to get those knees in, especially if you have a tendency to have really, really strong and tight glutes. <sighs> Belly button into spine. We've got another four. Three, two, and one. I'm going to ask you to keep your knees together now and pulse your bum up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. Knees go parallel and roll your hips back down. Awesome, guys. You're going to hug those legs and give it a squeeze. You're going to take two deep breaths here. And then we're just going to swing it up to a standing position. You're going to grab the backs of your legs, swing yourself up, come up to standing, release. Now we're in the perfect, perfect position for a plie. Now plies are amazing for your glutes, but they're also amazing for your inner thighs, especially when we add in a heel lift, which is what we're going to do. So I want you guys to open those legs wide, turn your toes out to the side. You've got to be able to come down into a plie comfortably without feeling like anything is hurting majorly. And you want to keep your back straight and your knees wide. They're not rolling in. Okay, we're going to do a nice little sequence here. So when you guys are ready, hands on your hips. We're going to inhale, come into a plie, and then exhale, lift. One. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift, and squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, just in line with the knees if you can. Eight, two more. Nine. And ten. 
Now take it into your plie and hold. We are gonna lift the left heel off the floor. You go one and you lower, do it again. Two, lower, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Place it down, go to the right heel, one. Go low, two, engage that core, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Place it down, lift it up, take a deep breath in, go down, hold. Left heel comes off the floor again, this time we pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heel goes down, right heel comes up and you pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, heel goes down, hold and pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and lift it up, release. Woo, you're gonna now turn your toes forward. So still in a wide stance, we are going to be leaning to the left knee, getting into a nice side lunge, stretching out that right inner thigh. So you're going to do hands to hips. We're going to inhale, come into a side lunge. One, exhale, shoot it up. Inhale, same side. Two, shoot it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it into that lunge, hold and pulse, ten, nine, eight, seven. Lift those arms, five, four, three, two, hold, and reach it back to center. You breathe in, taking it to the right side. Down, exhale, lift, one, two, three. Your inner thighs are gonna love me tomorrow. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Take it down, hold, pulse into that hip for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and lift yourself all the way back up. Woo, well done, guys. You're going to shake it up, step it up. Let's take the right foot forward, left foot back, find your balance. See if you can put the left heel down. Slide yourself down that right leg and relax. Stretching your inner thighs and your hamstrings. Keeping your toes facing to the front of the mat. You can bend that front leg, lift yourself up, swap it over, left foot forward, right foot back. Get the heel down, slide your hands down that front leg. Relax the neck. One more deep breath in. Bend 
bending that front knee, step it forward, relax the shoulders. Yay, well done guys on doing your inner thigh and abs workout. I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Bye.